Good morning again, everybody. It's wonderful to see you. I am Miss Kendra from Learn and Play Montessori School. It is a beautiful, beautiful, what day of the week? Wednesday, right? Yesterday was Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. Tomorrow is Thursday. The month is June. It's Wednesday, June. What? 24, 2020. Thank you. Are we ready for seven days of the week song? Super fast. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We're getting really good at singing that fast. Let's sing our months of the year song fast too. Ready for this? Hands are out. There are 12 months, there are 12 months, there are 12 months in a year. There are 12 months, there are 12 months, there are 12 months in a year. January, February, March and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, and December. These are the months of the year. Fill them with joy and with cheer. The months of the year. Wonderful. Let's go do some language. Come on over. I've got all my worksheets ready. And I got a pencil. You've got a pencil. We've all got pencils. Life is so good. Let's look at this worksheet first with the dog on the top. I'm going to put my name up here. Miss Kendra. So the directions say, can you read the directions with me? Say the name of each picture. Circle its name. We can totally do this. Okay, number one. That's a dog, but the circle is around the, yeah, the tail. So let's see here. I see the word tape, tail, and late. Tail, right? We can circle tail. These are not short A sounds. These are long A sounds, right? A, 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 not A, A, A. Number two, that's a picture of a rake. A rake. Let's read these words, see which to circle. Late. Lake. Rake. I think we found it. Circle your rake. Number three. That's a picture of a, yeah, a nail. So let's read these first. Nail. Huh? Let's double check, read all of them together. Rail, name. We know that's a nail. Let's circle the first one. Okay, let's do number four. This is what? What is she wearing? Yeah, cape, right? So let's see. These letters, these words are all very similar. Let's read these. Case. Cap. Oh, that's a short A. Cap. And cape. Cape. That's what we're looking for with the long A, right? And look, it's almost the same spelling, but cape has an E on the end. Hmm, what is this? Yeah, game. So let's see here. Gave, game, or name. First, second, or third? Good, second, yeah. Okay, let's do one more on this page and then we'll flip it over. Number six is a what? A bucket, a pail, right? So let's read these. Pill, pail, sail. 
first, second, or third? We're looking for pale, right? Yeah. Circle pale. Beautiful. So let's flip it over, see what's on the other side, and finish that later. Oh, you guys. I like a maze. Help Jay get to the game. Read each word. Draw a line to join the long A words. So we're looking for long A words. If we find a different sound, we might be going in the wrong direction. So here is J, and this word is, what is that? Rake, rake. So let's draw J to a rake, and now we need to read the next word. Rain, rain. Is that r a in ratten ratten? No, not ratten. Right? That's rain. It's a long a rain. So we can draw a line from rake all the way to rain. And then what's the next word? Good gate. Gate. Is that a long a word? You betcha. Let's write a line from rain to gate. All right, let's do one more together. Gate around here. Follow, 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 follow. Cake. Cake. Do you guys like cake? Me too. Let's draw a line from gate to cake. Okay, and my friends can manage to make your way out of that maze? Okay, cool. So the next direction is use some of the long A words to write a sentence. I hear my friends' sentences on my Zoom calls, and do you know what? My friends are using so many words that the sentence is so long, and I just love to see that. Let's see if Miss Kendra can make a sentence today. Hmm. Use some of the long A words to write a sentence. Okay. So I will say, I love to play, my long A word, play at the lake, a long A word, lake, with my pail, another long A word. And look, that's only one two, three long A words. Some of my friends are putting like six long A words. I'm really impressed. Let's take a look at our next language worksheet and put our names up top. The directions here say, say the name of each picture. If the vowel sound is short, color the box with the word short. If the vowel sound is long, color the box with the word long. So I'm gonna pick a color because I don't want to use my pencil for this. I'm gonna pick a color I'm feeling like pink today. So this here, oops, it's cut off a little bit. That's okay. We know what's going on there. So this is number one, two, three, four. What is this one gonna be? Yeah, five, six, seven, eight. What is this one gonna be? Nine, good job, okay. So number one is a cane, cane. So we have an A in there. Is it a short A? Does it sound like A or A? Cane. That sounds like a long one, right? Let's color in long. Wonderful. Okay. So now looking at number two, that's a picture of A can a can right so is that a short or long sound k ah ah 
can can remember our words um cane and cape or cape and cap right we have cap and cape and an e is on the end of cape so this one's short a cap with our e on the end it's a long a cape right so let's see here this is a can this is a cane let's see i'm going to write cane i'm going to spell it out i'm going to spell out can too so we can see what's going on here so this is a can right and can k ah, ah, short or long yeah short okay so we know this is short right and this is spelled the same c-a-n c-a-n-e right yeah so sometimes when we have a long a it's because or there's definitely going to be a vowel or an e coming after it interesting right yeah let's take a look at number three number three is a cap good so a cap k -ah. we remember that from our first worksheet right cap is a short sound a short a sound and cape good long yes okay and we remember like this we can write cap and that's c a p and cape c a p e right yes okay let's look at number five let's do two more over here and then we'll flip it over this is a is that a cap no that's a hat right that's a little different right a hat hat ah, ah, ah. is that short or long short is a ah. long is a hat ah, ah. yep that's a short one again and the next one number six is cash right i think that is cash and cash hmm? a share i don't know we're going with cash today that's cash she has some cash on her and that is a short a and if it's share then it's long today it's cash agreed agreed okay thanks friends let's flip it over Ooh, lots of words over here let's see what the directions are help dave Gail and Ray find the long A words. Circle each one you find. Okay, let's pick one friend here and we'll help them. Who are we going to help today? Ray? That sounds good. He's got his arms crossed. Maybe he's feeling not ready so we can help him and make him feel good. Okay? You just relax, Ray. Okay, we're looking for long A words. Ready to circle those? May. May. Is that a long A word? A, A, May. A, May. Yeah, we're going to circle that one. What about this one? Man. Man. Nah, that's short, right? How about pay? Is that long or short? Pay, a pay. Yeah, another long one. Super. How about the next one? Pat. Pat. No, that's short. And play. Yeah, long. Super. Okay. And this one? Day. Very good. Thanks for reading with me. Day. Is that a long A or a short A? Day, A, 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 day, long, right? Yeah, and hat, hat, ah, 
Ah. Ah. Not short again. Okay, let's see here. Say. Say. A, A, A. Say. Let's circle that one. We got a long one here. Way. Way. Yeah, we know that one's long too. Okay. And sand. <clears throat> sand. No, that sounds short too, right? So we finished. We helped Ray. And look, now he's smiling. <laughs> okay, let's take out your reader and your paper to cover the answers. We got, we got all that? You do? Perfect. Let's start with this page with our pig friend and our cat friend together up top here. You ready to read together with me? Wonderful. Can a pig dig? Hmm. Can a pig dig? Yes or no? Which one are we going to circle? Yes, a pig can dig. Why not? The pig is digging or the cat is digging. Who's digging in this picture? Yeah, the pig. In circle pig. Is the cat digging? Is that cat digging? Nope, not digging, right? Okay, let's flip it over and do one on the other side too. Alrighty. We remember this friend? Yeah, Anne, right? Anne hit a bag or Anne bit a bag. What is she doing to that bag? Is she biting it or hitting it? Hit, right? So we're gonna circle hit. Awesome, let's do one more on this page and then we're gonna do some penmanship, okay? Nip hit a bag or nip bit a bag. What is he doing? He hit it? No, he bit it, right? Bit. Let's circle that. Okay, let's finish these at home and take out your penmanship. You got it? We have the letter G. No, Miss Kendra, this is letter what? Is this a vowel? Mm-hmm, it's a vowel. It's the letter U. Wonderful, beautiful. Let's start tracing, okay? Our big U is gonna start at the top line. A little curve all the way down and up again, and then back down and out to the next letter. And our little U is gonna start at the bottom line, go up halfway, down around, back up halfway, and down out to the next letter. They look really similar, big U and little U, but our big U starts at the top line, goes down, around, up again, down, and out to the next letter. And our little U starts at the bottom line, goes up halfway, back down, around, back up to the halfway line, and down again, and out to the next letter. Let's try a big U over here. Ooh. Mm -hmm. All the way up, down, up, and out to the next letter. And our little U starts at the bottom, up, down, up, back down, and out to the next letter. U, U, U. Fantastic. Let's finish the rest of that at home. Thank you very much. And we have a don't you forget your book report. Okay, don't you forget your book report. I want to hear some of this. Okay, let's stand up and let's go take a look at some math and some fractions. And also, I think we should stretch some of those muscles we talked about. Do you think that's a good idea? That's a really good idea. I'm so glad you agree. So let's take three big breaths and then we're gonna do some stretching, okay? Ready, one, two, three, 
two, three. Okay, so first thing I wanna stretch today, some things that we don't usually stretch. I wanna stretch my chest muscles. So I'm gonna put my hands together behind my back and I'm gonna crisscross my fingers like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna straighten my arms nice and straight and now I can feel my chest stretching here. Can you feel that? You put your arms out straight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. What other muscles can we stretch? I've got my paper here to choose some muscles we can stretch. Do you remember what these muscles are called on our side? Some obliques, right? And we can stretch those by going to the side like this. One, two, three, four, five. Let's switch to the other side. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And back up straight. Hmm. Maybe we should stretch some legs, right? So we, I want to stretch this front, my quadriceps, my quads. I want to stretch these ones. So I'm going to, maybe I need a chair to hold. That's okay. Or maybe we have really good balance, been practicing, and I can do it on my one foot. So I'm going to hold my foot, and I can hold the table, and I can stretch it out like this. So I can feel it stretch in the front, okay? We're going to do five seconds with one leg, five seconds the other leg. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Let's switch. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Fantastic. Now there's more parts of our legs, right? What about back here? How are we going to stretch our calves? Let's put our feet on the floor, flat. And we'll lift our toes up with the heel on the ground still, and we can bend forward. Can you feel the stretch in the back? Let's do five here. One, two, three, four, five. You switch your feet, you keep your heel down and your toes up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one more leg muscle. Back here we have our hamstring, right? And to stretch that one, we can get your hands out and your toes and touch your toes all the way. Count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Are you feeling good? Yeah, I feel my body really likes to stretch. My muscles really like it. I feel energized. Yeah? Okay, let's sit down and do some fractions together. All right, my name is Kendra Miss. Miss Kendra, right? Okay. And we have been doing so many fractions, so I think we're gonna breeze right through this. All right, these say matching fractions. Write the numbers in order. Hmm. Okay, so why don't we use our pencils to color in those fractions, okay? So, this is one half. How many are we gonna color? Just one, right? So let's color in one, right? And the next one is one third. How many are we gonna color? Just one, right? I'm using my pencil today. It's a gray color. And this is one over four, right? 
Cool. Good job. Let's do one more and then we'll look at the other fraction page. Okay. One half. Can I color both of them? No siree, just one, right? Okie dokie, let's look at the next fraction page. This one, oh, that was our review, sorry about that. This is our writing 51 to 90. My friends, you guys can all count this high, right? So this is easy peasy. This is more review, making sure our brains remember all these things, right? So we have 51. And then what? Good, yeah, 52, 53, 54, 55, what's next? 72, 33, no, 56, 57, and I think you guys can finish this all by yourself. You feeling good about that? Me too. Okay, let's take a look at these. Whoop, do you do? I'm all over the place today. My name on there. So, this says fractions. These are fourths. So let's see here. I see here, we know what one fourth looks like. We remember that, that's four sections with just one colored. And two sections is two fourths, right? Yeah, and what about this? Three fourths are colored, right? And here, four fourths are colored. Isn't that interesting? Okay, I brought my gray pencil to do some more coloring in. Color the object to match the fraction. So here, there's a two over four. So how many sections am I gonna color in here? Exactly, two. Okay, and how about here? How many sections? Three of four. Three. Are you guys using colors to color? Good, I'm happy for you. And here, four over four. So all four sections are colored, right? Every single one. Same here, four over four. Is this right? No, is that okay? Can that be four over four? No, what is this? This looks like three over four, but they're asking for four over four. Okay, so let's finish these two at home. Before we go to our next page here, Let's look at our quarters here. So we remember we have a whole one, we have halves, and these are our quarters, right? So we have four fourths, sorry, fourths, fourths. So if I take one away, how many fourths do I have here? What is this fraction? This fraction is three over four, right? Yeah, exactly. So this right here looks like three over four. Nope, nope, nope. Three over four, right? And what if I take another one away? How many fourths are here now? Right, these are just, it is two over four, right? And what's left here? One over four. 
right? Really great. Let's see if looking at thirds, three is just as easy. Let's see, fractions of thirds. So here we see one third, right? Just one is colored in. Here, what are we looking at? Yeah, two thirds, super. Because two are colored in, right? And over here, three thirds, all are colored in. Okay, let's put some together here. We need to color one third. I'm gonna color the middle one. Am I coloring another one? It's only one third, right? Just one. Over here I see two over three, two thirds. So I can color, yes, two sections. We are doing great, my friends. Okay, let's do one more. Three over three. Is everything getting colored in? Yes, super. All righty, fantastic job. Thanks for doing that with me. Let's jump over and take a look at our muscles. Did you know you have so many different kinds of muscles? I didn't know that. Let's take a look at our muscle worksheet. And I wanna share a little bit of information about our muscles with you. So I gave you, my friends, a worksheet that looks like this, right? And it says types of muscle tissue. So in our bodies, we have three types of muscle tissue. So we have the first one here is smooth muscle tissue. Can you say that with me? Smooth muscle tissue. The second one here is called cardiac muscle cells. Cardiac muscle tissue. So cardiac, the word cardiac is about your heart. So these are the kinds of, that's what your heart muscle is like. And the next kind of muscle is striated muscle cells. So that is like, uh, those are the muscles that are gonna be on your skeleton, right? So I brought another picture to help us look at these also. So the cardiac muscle cells in the heart look like this. They're different than the skeletal muscles that are long and stringy like this. And then our smooth muscle cells that are muscles in our body that makes like our organs, like our stomach, right? That's a muscle, but it's a soft muscle. It's a smooth muscle cell, muscle tissue, right? Yeah, it's different. So we have our skeletal muscles that go all of our bones like this here in our arms, right? So we have skeletal muscle cells here, but in my heart, it's like, my heart muscle looks like in between the smooth muscle and the skeletal muscle. So maybe it's a little bit more stringy, but not quite so soft as the smooth muscle, but a little soft still. Yeah? Okay. So we know, we just said the cardiac muscles, the heart muscles. Is the heart a muscle? Yeah, it's a very important muscle, right? So that's not, it's different than the muscles in our arms, right? Yeah, it is. So cardiac muscles have a different texture. So I'm gonna write my name on here, Miss Kendra, and it's still the 24th. So I brought us a picture of the heart anatomy. So we can say these names and we can color our heart. A very important muscle. So, so important. And my muscle, my heart loves color. So my heart is gonna be very colorful. Let's take a look at the first one. So this says heart anatomy. And some of these words are a little bit tough to say. So let's go slow. Okay, first on the top of your heart is the aorta. 
Aorta. Can you say that with me? Aorta. And I'm going to color my aorta blue. Do I have a blue aorta in my heart, in my body? It might not look like this kind of blue. And let's see, what is next here? Let's go around the heart like this, clockwise, right? Clockwise, clockwise, clockwise. Here is the pulmonary artery. Pulmonary artery, right? So that's gonna be moving blood in your body. I'm gonna make my pulmonary artery green. So we need, make sure the heart is a muscle, right? It's pumping the blood through your body. So it's pumping, 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 like a muscle, right? Like when you flex your arm, you're pumping that muscle, right? <laughs> okay, so let's pick another color. I'm using pink for my <clears throat> left atrium, left atrium. Okay, I'm gonna color my left atrium pink. Wonderful. And now let's go on to the next one. How about a yellow left ventricle? Ventricle, left ventricle. All right, a yellow left ventricle for Miss Kendra. And soon, in a couple weeks, we'll be able to talk even more about these parts. Even more details. I'm very excited. So, that was the left ventricle. I'm thinking an orange color for this one. You ready to say this word? Interventricular septum interventricular septum. It looks like this is the right ventricle here. So the interventric, interventricular septum is keeping the left ventricle and the right ventricle from touching. Interesting. Maybe they need to be separated because they have different jobs in our body, right? Not positive. Let's do the right ventricle purple. Right ventricle purple. <laughs> purple, purple, ventricle. Okie dokes. We have two more. Ready? What's this? You try to say that with me? That is right atrium. Right atrium. And it is red. I'm going to find one more color for the superior vena cava. Superior vena cava. That's going to be a darker purple. Really great, my friends. Something interesting. I noticed there is a right atrium and a left atrium and a right ventricle and a left ventricle. Well, that's really interesting. Hmm. We'll have to look more into that when we do more, find more information about our hearts. So that was really fun. Thank you for stretching some of your muscles with me today. I'm really excited to see you tomorrow. Make sure you have any materials you need like coloring, counters, maybe you have your fraction cut papers. Yeah, you do? Okay, so you guys have a wonderful Wednesday and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.